Hello everyone, this is Dan with IT Supplies and today I am going to demonstrate how to use hot folders and quick sets to help streamline your workflow. Hot folders are an easy way to submit your jobs to RIPQ and can replace the time it takes to go through the file open dialog. Jobs can either be submitted manually by dragging and dropping them to the appropriate folder or having a script or program feed the files to the folder. If you are not already familiar with quick sets and onyx, they are a powerful tool used to perform a variety of simple or advanced transformations to your job. You can use it to do something as simple as resizing your, your images and as advanced as adding preset grommet marks or canvas wrap borders to your file. To locate your hot folder, you must find your working folder. These are typically in the Thrive folder unless you have defined them to be somewhere else. Once we find the Thrive folder, there's going to be an input subfolder. And inside of these are all of the printers corresponding to what you have installed on RIPQ. Onyx installs the hot folders with basic sharing enabled, so you can navigate to the folder from other machines and allow remote job submission over the local network. Now for basic drag and drop submission, we can just create a hot folder shortcut on the desktop. From there, we can drag a file in, make a copy, and we'll see it populate and immediately begin to process in the RIP queue. So there's our, there's our file right there. And it's going to rip and be ready to print in a very brief amount of time. For the next part, I'm going to show you how to use quick sets in conjunction with your hot folders. I've created two basic quick sets already. One that's going to make three copies of any file we drop in, and one that's going to resize any file we drop in to 16 inches wide. Now if we go into the subfolder of our printer, we will see both folders in here. And we're going to go ahead and just create a shortcut on the desktop too. And you can rename the shortcuts once they're on the desktop to whatever you would like. Now we can make a copy of the same file in both folders. And they are going to populate. As you can see, this one's coming in. The one we put in the three copies folder is already generated and will process and output three copies of the file we dropped in. And I'll drop one in. And you can see this is already being resized to 16 inches. Now if we want, we can actually completely automate this workflow and allow it to start printing automatically. If we go into our placement settings, we have the print tri triggering options up here at the top and it allow us to, allows us to either do a time-based start, an area-based start, or you can do a combination of both. Thank you very much and have a great day. Thanks so much for watching this. If you would like to see more of these videos, please go to our YouTube channel.